leg day. It's every day. I don't even go to the gym, but it's leg day. Every day is leg day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Every day is leg day. I have two unbanned requests? That's pretty... That's pretty interesting. I wonder what those say. They probably say something stupid. Let's let's look at my un. I'm gonna look at my unban request real quick. I'm also gonna put my headphones on so I can like actually hear what's happening. Oh wait, I have to tweet. Oh no, everything is falling apart again. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let me just quickly tweet. Very good vibes only. Soup on Twitch. Nailed it. Hello, Fenord. Welcome to stream. My hair looks greasy. Where are my unbed requests? So this one is a person who was just making sex jokes and I'm not unbanning them. I'm just putting the answer as no. What? What are people's unban requests? It's like, hey, why did you get banned? Oh, I said a slur in chat. Okay, what's your unban reason? Uh, I totally meant the slur, but you should unban me because it's not very cool of you to not be okay with me saying a slur in chat. What? Thank you, Atlas the Fatless. A Atlas the Fatless for the sub. Thank you. Hey, Skeppy. Welcome to stream. I thought you were going to bed, but I'm glad you aren't because I don't want you to get wrecked. Oh, no. I can't hear. Oh, no. Not this again. Not this again. I think I fixed it. Okay, wait, did I? Did I fix it? I think I fixed it. I fixed it. We're all good. Look at my ass, please. Just got a girlfriend. Are you proud of me? Good job. Savim17. Good job. Okay, what did this person say? I'll unban them. But they're on thin ice. Okay, let's get back to stream. So what we're streaming today is keycaps. And if you're like, what does that mean? It means exactly what you think it means. We're making keycaps. And if you're like, what are keycaps? What are they? Let me explain. Your hair looks different, but good. Thanks. It's kind of wet. And it's been up in a bun for approximately 73 days. I never take it down from the bun. And I will always have it in the bun. It's just sort of a thing I do. Okay, I'm just going to put my, I'm doing my Instagram, my Instagram shout out. And then we can start stream. Why the name Soup? I just like Soup. So that's literally the only, that's literally the reason. People are like, why did you pick the username Soup? And I'm like, it's because I really just enjoy soup. So for making keycaps, we're going to move all the miniatures I have. I have some keycaps. I think there's only supposed to be four of these. And one of these is a duplicate that I just tested. I'm a sexy little Minecraft chicken. Yeah. It is. Okay, we're good. Thank you for the sub, K Rody, Key Rody. Hello, Skeffy. Have a good lurking stream. Oh wait, is Skeffy lurking? Oh, okay. Bye. Let's get to level three hype train. Naruto or Sasuke? I never watched that show, so I legitimately could not uh I couldn't I couldn't give you a valid answer because I actually don't know. Chris Short, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you, Swap, for the Twitch Prime. You're welcome. You're so welcome. Did I say his name wrong? I don't know anything about anime. So, what's gonna happen here is I need the things that are in a thing 
that is not here. So give me no. Okay. okay. That's pretty poggers of me. I'm a sexy little Minecraft. Minecraft. Who just what? What? Ohio Frank, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. So I'm using this this tool called the Z-Butt. It's called like the Z-Butt Z -butt thing. And, and what it lets you do is it lets you put your keycap onto a plate, put it in here, and then pour molding agent on top of it, which is really great because it makes everything so much easier. But I think I need a little exacto knife because there's like a little bit of glue on these that I don't want on them but like there isn't anything I can do about it I don't think oh I need a q-tip is what I need okay guys I'm gonna find a q-tip and some stuff So step one is get some rubbing alcohol stuff, and then step two is get Q-tips. So I have some really tiny Q-tips, and if you're like, why? Uh, I just do. Madison, where's the better place to live, US or Canada? I don't know. I like Canada because uh, I, I didn't have healthcare in the US, so... I think I'm kind of biased, but I definitely like U.S. stores and shopping in the United States more, you know, because that's just a thing. It's just a thing I think about frequently. Okay, I'm going to go to this one, this scene. I'm going to turn this camera on, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this camera big, move it over, and then why is this one broken? Every day, every day I'm confused by the fact that this camera just like doesn't work sometimes. Um, this is my down cam. Is it? I think I actually unplugged this again. I think I might be stupid. Let me just really quickly check yeah i wholeheartedly unplugged the camera i'm t i was attempting to use so that one's on me that one that one's definitely on me there but uh it's root of it for it's root of it to not figure it out faster okay oh gosh I want to go to the gym so I can get a sick fucking dump truck ass. Do you have a nose bone? What? I'll see his OBS stream. That's only has a nice interface and the rest is just worse. Um, I use OBS. So that's just a thing. Oh, sick. Okay. I got it to work. So I'm just going to make this small. No, this, no, this. No, this. No. Pipe. Every day I just have so many. What is this? That literally says cringe alert. That's a thing. What is this? Sexy little Minecraft. Christmas. Here we go. Let's move that over here. Can I get the camera to work? There we go. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to put it over my face cam like this. And then we're just going to have nothing going. Ooh, I could have a nice little gradient background. Um, Pink, blue, gradient, polka dots. Trust me on this one. Trust me on this one. We're going to have an absolutely stellar time. What if I just used one that's literally fucking copyrighted and still has the shutterstock image on it what if i did that would you guys think that was funny would you guys enjoy that madison intellect stream upgrade when i don't know thank you courageous goose for the bits 
Thank you, Taserface14, for the sub. I appreciate it. Um, le guys, we're almost at level three. We got three minutes. Uh, pink, blue, background. Thank you, the F1 like, for the sub. What is this sleep schedule? I don't know. Make source visible. I have an EMP too. Eat, Eat my, my pussy, pussy and die. die. I don't know why I am awake. It is 3 a.m. where I am. What is uh, a sleep schedule? I don't know. What did I just add to this? I just added a slideshow. Wait, what? I want to add an image. BG for background. Click OK. Browse. Desktop. Let's add one. In. Let's add one in here. Uh, here we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna drag this to the very bottom. I'm gonna make it like bigger. That looks really bad. Does it? Does that look bad? Does that fit my branding? I don't think I have, I don't have good branding. I don't know. I'm just gonna look up polka dot gradient again and hope that that fixes it. Because I just don't have, I don't have branding. I don't know. I need to figure that out probably. My branding is like pink and blue kind of, but like not even. So this is just a really interesting situation. Ooh, wait, I could just have this as my background. No. Yeah, okay. Pop off. This looks stupid too. I, I need, I need it to be purple. What am I doing? I need this to be per- Okay, guys, we're going with purple gradient background. Go to second page of Google. The dark web starts from there. Uh, okay. That honestly sounds like it could be true. Okay, what if I do this? What's that? Oh, ooh, wait a minute. That's cool. That's kind of cool. Okay, guys, I think I solved my problem. I think I found, I think, oh, shit, no. Uh, I think I solved my problem. I'm going to replace this ugly picture with a good picture. Let's see what happens. That looks so dumb. I'm replacing it again. I'm fixing it. Guys, I know we're not making key hops right now. I'm currently focused on this, and if I don't fix it, I'm going to be mad for the rest of my life. So... Oh, you know what? I could do this, and then I could do this. Bam! Thank you guys so much for the hype train and for all the bits and subs and existence you guys just put into it. I appreciate it. So, I'm gonna move my mic here. No, I'm gonna move my mic there. Now it's out of the way of all of you kind, wonderful, gentle people. This looks pretty good, right? Look at the Daft Punk video look like hell yeah this looks pretty good i think so now that we're vibing what i'm gonna do is what is this this is a clone that's not the tool i don't want that okay don't want i want this one i think no i ordered two of these clone things instead of two of these and i'm kind of mad about it because this is what you use to actually mold the keycaps and this is what you use to mold like these pieces and I don't really need that. Do you think you will get a 5k ink to upgrade? I have no clue. I have not a single clue. I'm very sorry. I know that's not the answer anyone wants, but it's just, it's in fact the truth. I don't know. No one tells me these things. 
yeah, I am posting stuff on YouTube. Um, I have this issue where I go to make a YouTube video and I know what I want it to be. And then when it doesn't start to be like what I want, I just get really frustrated and I stop making it. So that's pretty much the vibe I have right now. So yeah. Just in case you were like, why don't you do X, Y, and Z? That's pretty much the answer. Why so grumpy? I'm not grumpy. Mic out the way. Pretty, pretty good. I think this looks pretty good. The gradient kind of matches what's going on down here, which I think is impressive. I'm taping this mold a little bit so that... What? 4 a.m. who needs sleeping anyway. Dabble d and &D, thank you for the donation. I appreciate it so much it makes me happy because <laughs> then i can buy more art stuff i don't really need but i want because it brings me joy you know can someone please explain to me what a keycap is i'm just done like that uh a keycap is this is probably not going to be a good example a keycap is the literally the thing that sits on the switch of your keyboard so like this is a cherry stem keycap i believe and I'm making artisan ones, which means they're like handmade. They're kind of special. I'm. Um, am I the only one that is jelly of mad? Why are you jelly of me? Also, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna sweep all of this shit that I just created up. I can just like put it in a little. We're just gonna do that a little bit. And what I have to do first is pour some of this into a tiny container. MX stem, cherry make a bunch of different switches. Okay, it's an MX stem. It's a key button for letters and numbers, John. <laughs> John, it's the thing for the things. I need a thing. So I'm gonna use this little container just to hold some of this. This is non-acetone nail polish remover. I'm not sure if this is going to accomplish what I want it to or not. But right now the glue I use to glue the little molded pieces I made for these Metroid Prime keycaps on, uh, some of the glue is overflowed out and I don't want that. So, wait, Terrence here? What? Wait. Oh. <laughs> no, I also literally have thought about making custom keycaps so that I could just like make them for macros. That has been a thought I've had. I think there's a dog outside that is crying. Can you say bless you? Bless you. Oh my goodness. Bless you. Okay. So that worked really well. Okay, so this definitely worked. The nail polish remover got is a solvent for the glue I used. I wasn't sure if it would be the right kind of solvent or not, but it 100% is, which means if I just kind of carefully scrub the areas where there's excess glue and I try not to get a bunch of it, like where I actually want the pieces to stay glued down, I can remove the glue. And you're probably like, well, if the glue is pretty flat and smooth, why does it matter? Well, it matters because the glue has a different texture than the rest of the keycap, and that texture would make the mold shiny. Megastar64, thank you for the bits. That that uh, glue had a shiny texture and finish. And if you mold that a shiny finished. thing... Hope this cheers you up, smile. It does. Thank you. And if you have a texture that is shiny when you mold it, um, the mold will be shiny. And then whatever keycap you reproduce from that mold will also be shiny. And I don't want these to be shiny. I want them to be matte. I want them to be a matte finish, which is why I'm going through the process of removing all the excess glue instead of just like letting it chill on there. Because it like probably wouldn't be that big of an issue, but it is to me. So, hi from Australia? What time is it in Australia? I have to be honest, I. I'm terrible at time zones, directions, and math. And I feel like 
people should know that about me. I just, I'm not, I'm not the person to ask for directions. I'm not the person to ask for the time and I'm not the person. I just have issues with object permanence. Like, am, am I a grown up? Did I, am I not, am I five? Why am I, why do I have issues with that? You're welcome, Madison. Thank you. Not true. It's 12.31 in Australia. AM or PM? Sounds like you have ADHD. I do. I do have ADHD. I do have ADHD. Pretty quirky. I know. I have an appointment with my doctor tomorrow about it. I got a family doctor, finally. I'm very happy about that. It is so... It is so hard to get a family doctor in... At least in BC... I, cause like usually, you know, you have one when you have one, usually, okay. You live in BC, you grew up in BC and you have a family doctor because your parents had a family doctor. And when you were born, that's automatically your family doctor. But if you moved here and you have like no relatives with a family doctor and you don't know anyone here, um, it's really impossible to get one unless you can get recommended by someone else. Which is just, like, awkward. It's awkward to be like, hey, does anyone have a doctor that they'll recommend me? Uh, but I went to a walk-in clinic one day for something. I think it was, like, a rash. I don't know. I had a rash on my face. And they were like, oh, yeah, we actually have a doctor who's, like, coming in. And he's going to be, like, a new doctor. So he's taking patients. So I filled out a form. And I was, it was, it was pure luck that this happened. Couldn't you just use Daddy Linus's doctor? I don't like anything in the statement you just said. I feel like ADHDs are the most creative people ever. Here's the thing. It's really easy to be creative, but like, I feel like ADHD means, yeah, I have big ideas, but it also means that I have neither the patience nor the dedication to spend time actually making that idea reality. So like, yeah, I'm creative, but I don't actually pursue it properly, you know? Anyone else vibe with me here? Anyone else straight vibing? Hundred percent. Yeah. ADHD, the inspiration is there, the focus for it is questionable. I had a family doctor and then he got sick and I got transferred to a non doctor and this new doctor wouldn't sign off on my already prescribed medicine that I had to take for mental health. His reasoning was that I don't believe anything's wrong with you. Uh, I would honestly, I, I hate when people are like, report them, report them. But honestly, that's what you, I think you should do. Because like, that's super not fucking okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. I don't, that's why people don't get mental health it's because doctors sometimes just don't advocate for it you're like hey i have this issue that's already existed and i'm aware existed and they're like i just simply don't believe you it's like cool you're not living that person's life you don't know what they experienced day to day and they're like oh yeah my doctor the doctor i went to originally who was like super against prescribing anything to me um pretty much was like was was saying that like i don't have adhd because i because i've never lost a job and that was their logic. That was like, that was their piece of evidence. Instead of being like, oh, you know, why did you go and get diagnosed with ADHD? And what did the person who diagnosed you say? Uh, they were like, well, have you ever lost a job? And I was like, no, I'm 22 and I've only had like three jobs. I haven't lost them. And they were like, so what you're saying is you don't have any issues. It's like, what? What? Excuse me? What the fuck? What? It's like, how about instead of just immediately judging someone because they appear to be perfectly fine and you don't actually know them, you ask questions and send them to a specialist if you are not equipped to figure it out. It's not that complicated. It's not that hard. And I don't understand why... I don't understand why people won't just admit when they are out of their, like, water and they're like, I'm out of my depth here. I'm going to send you to a specialist for this. Like, I don't... I don't and understand. His name is John C. How do I move the uh, sound alerts? Bam. Let me move them there. But if I send you somewhere else, that means I will feel bad and we can't have that. Yeah, it's like, okay. I obviously have never been to med school. 
I know, it's very shocking. But I would think one of the first things they literally teach you in med school is like, your patient is your responsibility, but if you're not actively helping them, you should be sending them somewhere else to someone who can. That's why they have specialists and people who study specific niche topics. So if you're like, yeah, something is very clearly wrong with your knee. I don't know what it is, but you say you have pain. So instead of me just denying that and being like, no, there's nothing wrong with you because I don't see it, I'm going to send you to a knee specialist or a, a, a bone specialist. Med school... They just make them watch Grey's Anatomy. Oh my god. Should be so much easier to get medical care in CI. I thought America's was supposed to have all this BS medical problems. So America's problem with healthcare isn't that it's hard to get. It's that it's super expensive. Canada's problem with healthcare is it's not that it's super expensive. It's hard to get. <laughs> so it's like you get it. And then once you're sort of in, you're in and you're pretty okay. But if you have an issue that an issue and you don't have a doctor who's like really good it takes forever to get anywhere unless it's an emergency. Like, unless it's an emergency. So if you have migraines for 30, for 30 years, not 30 years, but if you have really, really bad migraines for like three years and they're chronic and you go to your doctor and you're like, I have these really bad migraines, your doctor is going to go, okay, well, I can put you on the non-important list waiting list for an MRI. And that takes like two years to get. So in the meantime, you're just stuck with this with no actual answers because you're not an emergency because they don't think you have a brain tumor or something. So you have to like constantly advocate for yourself a lot more, I feel like. But also American healthcare literally just takes advantage of everyone. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think that both have very large flaws and accessibility issues are the main issue. Uh, of almost any sort of healthcare. You have to know that. Yeah, so it's like, it's it's not accessible really anywhere. I had the same migraine issue here in Australia. I had an MRI less than a week after going to my doctor, got a tumor diagnosis less than a week after the MRI. Oh man, that sucks, I'm sorry. But I feel like that, that maybe, maybe your doctor like actually had, I don't know how, I don't know. I've never been to Australia, nor have I experienced Australian healthcare, but definitely here I went into the doctor and I was like, my eye has been swollen for five years and like I went in and, and, and America, they would say, oh, it's allergies and they wouldn't even really look at it. And I was like, it's not, it's not allergies. Like it, it can't be because it's only in one eye. It's only ever been in one eye. Allergies would be affecting both eyes unless one of my eyes is fucking Clark Kent and is Superman. I don't know. And also when I'm on allergy pills, it doesn't go away. So like disproving both those theories right there, right then. But they were like, no, it's allergies. And it they I didn't get anyone to take me seriously and they were like you should go to a specialist and I would be like can you recommend me one and they'd be like no so that's pretty quirky I feel like in the USA they say oh it's nothing or oh it's cancer yeah I don't know it's it sure seems like it my foot just fell asleep I was simply vibing and ew fuck off <laughs> I'm 21 and freaking out not gonna lie where do you where do you live ketamine it's a massive oh wait what what you doing there I am blowing on keycaps to dry them out so that I can put them in a mold I would honestly report that doctor and go to a different one if possible because like if you have a visible like what I don't understand I don't know. New York, I just want to scam. 
I just want a scam or something. I have no clue. I don't know. Healthcare's so fucking silly. It's not silly. It's just annoying. Scan. Yeah, I... I don't know. Here's the thing. You would think that researching something prior to going to a doctor and, like, showing that you're educated and you go in and you're like, Hi, this is my concern and this is what I think it could possibly be. I've done... Minecraft chicken. Do the bureaucracy of doctors can be rough. It's really true. Bick and round. Thank you for the sub. And... Like, I don't... I forget what I was saying. You would think going into a doctor's office prepared and being like, Hi, these are my concerns, and after my research, this is these are some of the things that I'm concerned I have. Can you disprove them, or can I do a test to figure out, like, yes or no? I went in, and I was like... I, w I went in, and I was like, Hi, I think I'm allergic to these things. I have this issue. I have uh, this other issue. And I had a doctor who just went, Yeah, no. So, like, we don't actually... Those aren't actually issues because you're young. I'm sorry. Excuse me, lady. What? What? What do you? What do you mean? I had a doc. I went into the doctor and said, "Hi, I there are lumps in my boobs," which is now just knowledge. Anyways, I went and I got them ultrasounded like a year ago. I would like to get them ultrasounded again because it's been a while. Want to make sure like nothing's going on there, nothing bad's happening. She just went. That isn't an issue because you're young. Last time I checked, cancer does not care if you're young. Like... What? Just, be, just because breast cancer isn't common in young people doesn't mean it's not possible. Doesn't mean anything, actually. And this doctor straight up wouldn't do anything for me unless I could get her... Okay. So, long story short, I am adopted. Never really, like had anything with biological parents or whatever like didn't really know them so explain to me how you expect me to have their entire medical history how would i someone who was adopted as a baby have their entire medical history just with me and this person was like would like refuse to listen to any of my concerns because i had no previous medical records of it I'm sorry, guess what? You can get cancer even if your uncle didn't have cancer. It's... Like... And they were like, we need your records from when you were, like, born. When were you born? I was like, well, this is my birthday. She's like, no, where? When? What was your birth like? I'm like, how is that relevant at all right now? If that hasn't been relevant in the past 22 years, I highly doubt it's going to be a thing right now when I'm presenting you with a completely different problem. <laughs> Family medical history is pointless and irrelevant. Like... It's quite frankly, like, most of the time irrelevant unless it's, like, a genetic thing. Like, if they're looking for something genetically that they can trace through a family history, then it matters. But if it's literally, like, hi, I have a sty on my eyeball, and they're like, do you have a history of styes in the family? Do you, uh, did your uncle ever have a prostate exam? It's like, what the fuck? Why are you asking me this? How is this relevant at all? Can I please just get checked? Thank you. Have you ever shit your pants before? I'm sorry, what? You, like, like, have you ever shit your pants before? How is that relevant to um, my breast exam? I just was wondering. I just was wondering. You know? My grandpa died from skin cancer. My mom is touching me to put on such me. Like, see, that's a, like... Cancer, it makes sense with, like, obviously, because it's a genetic thing, and if your parents had cancer, you're probably more likely to have cancer if you were born from them. But, like... I... I don't... I don't know. The fact that doctors will be like, oh, well, see, there's no... There's no family history of, uh... Of... Blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like... Okay, cool. <laughs> what? I hate that. My daughter's mom is a complete no-show. We can't answer anything about her maternal family. And doctors act like we're the shittiest. Yeah, lol, love the crafting is such a common occurrence that there's a drawer of gloves. I, literally everything in these drawers is art supplies. And I have three of them. 
So, just realized we can order you food. That's fucking sick. Oh my god. I totally forgot I had that. Um, treat stream is really neat. I will say that much. I think it's really cool. I do, in fact, think it's interesting and quirky. It's closed, though. I'm so sorry. Wait, what? What do I even have on there? One, give me a second. I'll figure it out. How are they even closed? Okay. Um, don't worry. Don't worry. Also, I'm pretty sure this charge is like $10 for delivery and is kind of ridiculous. Let me edit my treat page. What do I even have in here? Hmm. I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to turn that on. The fuck? Amazing. Hey guys, I fixed it. No, I didn't. I broke it actually. I think I just turned it off. No, I fixed it. We're good. Does this like, it says patent pending. What patent? Madison, don't worry. Medical is a piece of shit everywhere. Like three years I broke my feet. The doctor of the urgency didn't even see it. I am pretty sure I shattered my heel at one point when I was younger. And by younger, I mean like 16, 17. No, I was like 18, I think. I was doing a high kick in the bathroom and I smacked my foot down like on the windowsill, which was made of metal. And it, it felt like it was on fire. I nearly cried. I couldn't walk on it and it hurts still. So I'm pretty sure I just like fractured it and it never healed right. And at this point, I'm too embarrassed to even bring it up at a doctor office though. Also, I hurt my knee somehow, don't know how. Um, like a long time ago. And I went to a doctor and the doctor was pretty much like, there's nothing wrong with your leg. And I was like, are you sure? Because it's very clearly swollen and fucking hurts. And they were like, nope. And then I went to a specialist, and that specialist still said nothing, so I was like, okay, cool. You're falling apart in your old age. Absolutely, I am. So, you know, I was just, like, really quirky. Madison, is there a special person in your life? Can I ship you with Sarah from LPT? You can do whatever you want, uh, as long as you just don't make it weird, you know? You know? Goes to a doctor office and bumps the candle like, nope, nothing's wrong. Pretty much, that's what it feels like a lot of the time. So we're using Moldstar. This is Moldstar Platinum Silicone Rubber, Moldstar 30, because this is what I, I have. Um, yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do something smart before I start this. I'm going to take a pen and I'm going to draw in these cups where... I want the resin to match up. Not resin, sorry, the silicone. And now that I've done that, I'm gonna put this to the side. Nuggies or Tim, your call. How do you hold down a 9 to 5 as well as cool stuff like art and streaming? Been working a 9 to 5 since I finished high school a couple years ago and it's the only thing I can do now skeptical. Crack. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I don't do it very well. I uh, must be honest. I am really bad at actually like doing art stuff. Like I do art stuff on stream, but stream ends and then I just don't do anything. So. My nose is so itchy. I, it's a little bit easier now, I think. Nine to five, easy, try the fuck in IT bullshit. Eight to seven in the meantime, eight to one AM, repeat. Way to immediately be like, you think you have it bad? Try being in IT. It's really hard and honestly don't feel bad if you're like I'm struggling to do things outside of work because it's hard to adjust to work and until you get like a perfect sleep schedule, a perfect eating healthy habits, a perfect girlfriend, you're probably going to be like I'm not doing anything right. Uh, I feel like that's how gamers are who stream. Never play games after stream because you're in. I don't Here's the thing. I have a very I have a I have a terrible mental disease. It's called 
I think I have to monetize every single thing I do. And so sometimes it's just hard to do things and not attempt to monetize them. When in reality, doing that actually makes the things you monetize better. Because if you practice a lot and then you make art because you weren't worried about monetizing the practice stuff, chances are the art you make to monetize will end up being better because you've done practice because you weren't concerned. But it's hard to do that. And that's, that's life. That's life. Da -da. I don't know the rest of that Frank Sinatra song, but just pretend I did. I don't know if this cup is big enough. This cup ain't big enough for the both of us. I want to dress up like a cowboy and ride around on one of those stick horses. And like, be cool, you know? I need to make a cosplay, but I've done the thing that I do every year where I go, oh my god, I want to cosplay for Halloween. But it's like, it's Halloween is literally like two months away, which is probably enough time to make an okay cosplay, but like... Focus, now use your time. Oh, you asked a question. Um... Tim Hortons. Final answer. No. 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 We're going with Tim Hortons. I don't feel like having nuggies right now because I had four corn dogs for breakfast. Don't ask about it. it you don't need to know. Okay. Cool. Glad we went over that. <laughs> The doctor drew a scan of my feet, didn't see that it was broken, so mobilize it three months after when I'm back. And my feet... <laughs> and my feet was almost healed, but badly. He sees it and finally operates. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Chaps90, for the treat stream. Also, Finn, Breakfast of Champions, no complaints here. It's so weird when the Twitch staff icon shows up in chat. Welcome to chat, Finn. Welcome to existing here on this lovely little stream. Uh, also, yeah... Here's a here's a really good tip. This is this is <laughs> We're talking about doctors. I will fully admit There are times where I will end up going to urgent care over something that is 100% my fault And also something that probably doesn't require urgent care, but I thought did the example of this I have is I went to urgent care because I was having chest pains for like weird says the YouTube star Finn don't call me out like that. Thank you. I got recognized at Ikea twice and at a bouldering place called The Hive. And it was really weird. You were constipated. No, 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 no. I wasn't constipated. I had given myself weapons grade acid reflux. <laughs> and so I had, I had given myself weapons grade acid reflux and I went in and I was thinking there was something wrong with my fucking heart because it, the pain I felt was unlike, I've had chronic acid reflux since I was a child, okay? But it turns out when, um, full story, I moved from Arizona to Vancouver, my debit card, uh, like got like hacked or stolen. So I, instead, I didn't think about it. And I called the bank. And I was like, shut it down. Oh my God. Someone has my debit card. But I forgot that I didn't have like any money like with me, like physical cash. And I had no way to access the money that was in my bank account in America. And shut up, Skeffy. Shut up, Skeffy. It was heartburn too. Shut up. So a sort of heartburn if you, what? Hello? Where's my phone? What's happening? Amazing. So I went in and I was like, blah, blah, blah. They did an EKG and they were like, this doesn't look weird. And I was like, oh. and then the doctor gave me some thing that was like called a pink lady. And it was like a mix of numbing agent and antacids. And that shit tasted disgusting. And it was the worst feeling I've ever felt. And then it uh, apparently like kind of helped. And then I still had acid reflux for a few days. And I eventually realized it's because in a week I had eaten 30 corn dogs. And that was literally the only thing I was eating was corn dogs. And ketchup. So. 
case anyone was wondering what not to do, uh, that. I was legitimately going to joke and say how many glizzies had you been gobbling? <laughs> I was eating only corn dogs because I that was the only food I had, okay? <laughs> I feel like I should be surprised, but I'm not. You can't say that! <laughs> Cherry or OEM profile is the base for the artisan keycaps. Um, Cherry. Granted, this was pretty soon after you moved, right? Yeah, this was like literally less than two weeks after I moved. It was like the 13th day and I was like, I'm supposed to be in quarantine, but I have had this heartburn, this feeling like I something is wrong for, I've had it since I, it started when I got on the plane, which is why I also thought it wasn't that. It started when I got on the plane. I was like, this is really weird because I got like a, I had like a little heart thing and I think that was just anxiety. I don't think that was related, but I thought it was because in my brain I was like, it felt the same, so it's the same. It wasn't probably. And then I moved and then my diet consisted of corn dogs for like a week and a half. And then I went to the hospital and I sat there and I listened to some tunes and they were like, what seems to be the matter? And I was like, I don't know, I think I'm dying. And they were like, mm, okay. And then a nice lady touched my boobs and put a sticker on them to measure like heart rate and stuff. And I was like, okay, cool, cool. And they were like, yeah, this don't look bad. And I was like, what the fuck you mean that not look bad? They're like, yeah, this looks normal. And I was like, oh no. And then they gave me the disgusting thing. And it was fine. How do you track your food? What do you mean? Oh, you mean... It just shows up eventually. So that's pretty much, I thought you meant like, how do you track your calories? And I was like, I don't do that. What was the application process like for LMG? They already knew you, so was there a proper interview? Was it not hella awkward? No, it was awkward, but there was a proper, I had two, I had multiple interviews. I, I had multiple interviews in the first one. I was told not to say anything because like, obviously, if I didn't get hired, that would have been super awkward. And then Linus just fucking talked about it on Wayne show. So it was like... Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Where do you buy your epoxy supplies? Uh, I have a lot of resin from Amazon. This came from Amazon too, I'm pretty sure. I just about poured this in there without actually like putting the keycaps in. Which would have been hella fucking awkward. And... uh. Most of it came from Amazon, to be honest, because it's just sort of the easiest place to get stuff here since there's a lot less, a lot fewer craft stores. There, we only have Michael's and I guess a place called Opus, but I've never actually like been there. I mixed way too much of this and I know you guys can't see what I'm doing right now, but it's because I'm scared of wrecking this. So that's why. I mix actually way too much of this casting, but oh god, I'm wasting this. This is gonna be such a waste. Oh no, I thought this was gonna require so much more. How do I get this open? I didn't ask for a free run. Yeah, I only have one keycap right now, and it sucks. No, it doesn't. It's fine. Oh, I fucked this up. Damn. Damn, bro. You ever mess stuff up real bad, and then you're like, oh, I definitely messed that up. Yeah, that's, that's me right now. That's me currently in this very moment. glass keycaps. I wonder how you would even... Are you making egg for it now? No. Right now I am making some Metroid keycaps for an Etsy order I got a long time ago where I had to delay it because I didn't have the right materials and then I had to delay it because everything broke and then I made a mold but then it reacted weirdly with the material that I made it out of so I have to redo it. So now we're back at square one. I was taking screws out of a PCB for my numpad the other week and ripped a die out of the board. Now I need a new numpad PCB. That sucks, bro. 
Okay. You're gonna wipe silicone into your hair. I mean, I could, theoretically. I need to find something else to mold. Do I have any miniatures that I can mold? Is there anything in here that's neat? I didn't ask for a free ride. I need like something the cool things to mold because now I have so much silicone left over that it's kind of ridiculous. Mold that dump truck ass you're working on at the gym. <laughs> I gotta go. Goodbye. What dump truck ass? This dump truck ass? Cause I got an ass face. Just kidding, I don't. I need miniature things to mold. What do I mold? What do I mold? What do I mold? Sharks, I'm asking for $5 billion for half a percent equity in my company. I'm bringing out the miniatures to look at and see if I can find something interesting to mold. Mold an egg. Also, how long is the pot life on this? 45 minutes, okay. We have, we have a little bit of time then. A little bit of time. Electro tooth Canadian. Wait, what? Use that mini banana that you would get rid of a couple streams. A mini banana that I brought to work and that made social posts with. That mini banana? I love when I get to use stuff that I just like have and I bring it to work and I'm like, this is a fucking social post now. It makes me feel so accomplished. I'm like, that's right. I made a social post out of the random shit I had at home. Get wrecked, nerds. That's right, bitches. Look at this fucking cat microwave. I feel like I can make molds of these things and they would be cute. So I'm going to, okay? Okay. Thank you, the rogue. Gods, we're going down. No, you. The rogue Corvid. Thank you. Thank you for the sub. Skeffy, can you tell me that this looks really cool and good? I really love the fact that I spent 30 minutes doing that and it, it makes me so happy. What? The look. I have a background now. See that? See that background? See that background? It looks really cool and good. Thank you, Finn. Thank you so much. I'm gonna ignore the quotation marks in that and just pretend that that was you just saying that to me. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you think it looks good. I... What can I say? I didn't make it myself. I, in fact, stole it from the internet. What whoa, whoa, raggy. Ah! Looks awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I could mold these, but they'd look bad, so I'm not going to put that back in there. Let me just shut this. Put it to the side. Bit Bix, thank you for the sub. I am MP2. Eat my pussy and die. Hello, how is Mads? I'm good. Hello, Mini Minig G Tuliak. I'm a sexy will Minecraft. Minig Tuliak. Thank you for the sub. I wish I could do chants on your channel. What is a chant and how does that work? What? Soup might have an intro outro screen soon. <gasps> Not an intro one, but an outro one would be probably cool. I would do that. I would do an outro. I would do an outro. I I would do an outro. 
I love outros. Even though I've never done a single one. I love outros. Even though I don't know how to do them. I love outros. It's basically a copy paste that you click to. Oh, wait. Why don't I have it? Is that only for some people? Do only some people get them? Do I just think mods can do where they said, eat my pussy and die, I'm never going down on a girl again. That sucks for you, I guess. I don't know the response I should be having to that. I really just like... Don't, I don't know. I don't know. Eat my pussy and die. I'm a sexy little, little Minecraft, Minecraft chicken. chicken. Thank you for the gifted sub. Ah, thank you. I don't know what you came back to. I sure thought you were molding like pretzels. Um, no. Surprise, I'm not. Surprise, I'm actually doing something called art. You ever heard of it? It's something bad bitches do. Bad bitches be doing art and shit. I'm gonna learn how to use my 3D printers. Cause I have some and I really should be actively using them for more than sitting on my shelf. But I haven't been because I'm bad at things. A mold of pretzel can be art. That's what they say at Auntie Anne's pretzel at the mall. I like the mall pretzels when they put the little sausages in them. Then they taste extra good. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm gonna do something real risky here. If you're like, what? What are you doing that's real risky? I'm gonna take these and I'm going to put them over here and I'm gonna pour silicone into them. It's really risky guys. I don't know. You might wanna you might wanna close your eyes for this one. It's gonna be it's gonna be real risky and a little bit scary. Be careful. I'm going to be I'm gonna be so careful. Also, what I'm doing is I'm putting this on tape because it creates a backing that's sealed for the pieces. And then these are supposed to just sort of stick to the tape. But here's the thing. I don't know if this is gonna be effective whatsoever. It's, it's gonna look fine for a while, but it might like flow out. So. That's why I'm like, I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Cause look, I did so I did four molds and I still have so much silicone left in my thing. And I'm just gonna move that up there. And we'll see if silicone starts pouring out of the bottom of them, okay? I'm making a fiberglass shy guy mask for potentially Halloween. Yes! I think the mall sausage pretzel things are called corn dogs. No, they're pretzel dogs. Cause they're pretzels and hot dogs. I just want a picture of a goddamn hot dog. What am I doing? Where am I? What year is this? Hello? Okay, I need more things to mold. Is there anything interesting in here? Uh, no. The answer is no. There is not. What about in this one? Silicone, more like silicone. Noah! Remember earlier when we were talking about tacos? That's pretty quirky. 
Wait, you make artisans? I just built the keyboard yesterday, OMG. I do! I'm trying to make more and, like, you know, actually work on it and not just suck ass. But I got, I have to admit, not sucking ass is actually really difficult. I'm just sucking ass every day. It's like I wake up, suck ass. Go to bed, suck ass. You know? Anyone else relate to me? Anyone else relate on this very controversial topic? Every day I'm sucking ass. Anyways, let me never say those words again. Thank you. I'm using these other molds that I found to make the barriers for these molds because I don't have any other smaller shapes. This is a Chippendale cookie cutter. Please don't call me out for being a Disney stan. Noah, would you say I'm a Disney adult? Wait, wait, what? John Paladin asked a question. Mold some dice. Yeah, so I would. Um, I'm gonna turn off this candle. You can mold dice, but here's the thing. If you have, if you mold like a specific uh, design die, slash if you mold a die that has a copyrighted font on it. Here's a fun quirky thing, copyright law. You're infringing on the copyright if you reproduce and sell that. So if you do anything like that, you actually have to be careful. And I have made my own dice in Blender, but I didn't finish successfully mastering them and molding them yet. I haven't finished. It's something I've wanted to do for a while, but I haven't really got around to because I'm lazy, you know? Do you still want Lego? What do you mean? I always want Lego. I love Lego. I need to add Playmobil to my wish list instead of fucking Lego, because I would play with Playmobil so much more. You know? Dice with tiny eggs instead of dots. <gasps> hey Siri! Where's my Siri? Make a note. Dice with tiny eggs instead of dots. Okay, I've created a note. Dice with I'm copywriting that idea. Oh, no. Did you get rid of all of those Among Us stickers? No, I still have some. I send them out with every Etsy order. I didn't ask for a free ride. So that's the silicone. Now that that's done, where's the other one of these? Uh, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna put these over here. I'm gonna spin them around with the other ones. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna put the silicone that's like garbage, shitty silicone, I'm gonna put it in this cup. I'm gonna put it in the cup. The cup. Currently building R2D2 and we'll be on the UCF Star Destroyer next. Hell yeah. The dots are called pips. You know what else is called fucking pip? You fucking pip squeak. I'm sorry, that was rude. Can I buy Playmobil on Amazon? And if so, do they have the mansion set? <laughs> uh, someone, if someone donates, um... $200 right now, I will buy more Playmobil sets. That's what I would do with the money. <clears throat> that is 100% what I would do with that money. I would go out and I would buy, I would buy the Playmobil Modern Mansion. They have it all. Please no one encourage her. I'm sorry, Noah. What did you say to me? I can't hear you over my 
Playmobil Modern Mansion. Playmobil.ca. I made a Playmobil.ca account today. That's right. Mommy, Daddy, stop fighting. No! Timmy, shut up! I want the... Wait, let me look up Modern Mansion again. I want the Modern Mansion, but I also want the one that looks super, like, fancy and cool. You know? I want the Modern Luxury Mansion, but I also want the mansion that's, like... Um, what's it called? I just want the house. I also want the fairy tale castle. I do want, I do want the fairy tale castle as well. Susan Momax 14 MV works really well for molds if you want to try them. I need to try like all, here's something I should really have been doing every time I did molding and things. I should really have been like writing down the molds I used and how I felt about it and like what just like if I liked it and then like how it felt what it blah blah, blah. I should have been doing that but I haven't been because I'm fucking bad also Playmobil used to be so much more expensive than it is now than it is now and I'm confused on the road to two hundred dollars, lol. Thank you for the bits. Only another one ninety nine fifty. Exactly. I did caps a few years ago. Do you have a window open, lol fan? No. So the stuff I'm using is non, not non toxic, but like non something. I don't know. I want to buy the piano Playmobil set, so maybe I will. You can buy a helicarrier for the fucking children's hospital. Uh-oh, I'm about to buy the large dollhouse. I could buy that right now if I wanted to. I could go to the toy store and buy it. Suburban house. <gasps> suburban house! Show me the interior. Show me the interior of the suburban house. Show it to me right now. Oh, the suburban house looks so good. The green thing on my straw is a silicone tip because I'm terrified of chipping my teeth on a metal straw. But that's just me. The suburban house looks pretty cool. I have to fart really bad. I farted. But you'll never know. Snap back to reality. Oop, there goes gravity. Oop. Did any of you guys ever have Playmobil as a child? Is that your Tim stuff? Uh, no, this is the Tim Hortons I got earlier. But I only got an ice cap. Because... I'm not normal. Here's a quirky thing that is quirky. Did you know that Playmobil is a lot cheaper than you thought it was? That's what I actually get you. Oh, you're gonna see, you're gonna see very shortly what you got. And you're gonna be like, wow, that was a great deal. You're gonna be like, that was a great, a great deal. That's a fear I had I didn't know how to address. Yeah, so you can literally just buy a uh, a snazzy little thing. How the fuck does this exist? Sorry, now I'm actually really confused about something I'm looking it up. What? Even? Wait, so you can buy this? I'm so confused by everything. Anyways, let's jump back to topic. What are we doing today? You can buy anything on the internet, even really weird shit. That's true. I'm gonna check the door because sometimes the people who bring food don't knock or ring.
there was nothing outside, so now I'm gonna look at my phone and check how long ago that was. 28 minutes, okay, so 28 minutes, definitely, they definitely probably would take longer. I really like your Sarah Angel cosplay. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. I really like you. Anyways, Tim's. Yeah, bro, I got them Tim's. Oh, I got new glasses. And before, okay, Noah, I, I have a feeling Noah's rolling his eyes right now and going, what, you ordered more fucking glasses? Here's, here's what I did. So please hear me out before you feel rage and emotion at me. Thank you. I got new glasses that aren't like specifically, here you got a few days ago. These ones? No, I got new, I got new glasses from the same company. They're, they're, they're literally the same. They're the exact same as these, except they're just transparent. They're replacing my other transparent ones that have the wrong prescription lenses. Because some days I like to wear my clear glasses because they go with my outfit. And other days I like to wear my dark glasses because they go with my outfit. And I think that having multiple pairs of glasses is also smart. Because then if one of them breaks, you're not completely fucked. Also, they were on sale. Looked weird when you were holding them, but looks good when you're wearing them. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking to my friend Ethan, and we were in the car, and I was wearing these glasses, and he was like, wait, you have glasses? And I was like... I've never not once hung out with you wearing no glasses. <laughs> and it's because I had transparent glasses on all the time. What's the company? These are from Fermu, which is, I'm pretty sure, like a China company. Um... They're pretty good. I would recommend them. I don't know if they're great with like super, super, super thick lenses or like really high prescriptions, but I have like minus 1.25 in my left eye and 1.75 in my right eye. So I don't know if that's super bad or not, but they work well for that. Also, this case is kind of nice. I do like this case. And I just felt the need to share that with you all. I have black, so they go with everything. Hell yeah. Negative 3.5 and 4.5? What? That's kind of weird. I don't know why. You guys are wacky. Imagine being blind. What is legally blind? Like, how blind do you have to be to be, like, legally blind? Asking for a friend. Love the butter block glasses. I <laughs> thank you. Hey, it's the butter. It's the dog butter. It's the butter with the dog. It's the dog butter. You know? Sheesh! And I thought I couldn't see. Blind brother and rise up. I think I'm up to, like, 275 in my left eye. You're only like one worse than me. How'd you get the iris? Oh, sorry. I fell on a bed frame when I was like three. I don't know. I was like really little and I fell. That's literally the whole story. It's not, it's not interesting like at all. It's not cool. It's not really interesting. I literally just fell when I was little onto a bed frame. And when I did that, turns out, uh, if you cut your whole ass eyebrow open, sometimes it just scars and then, you know, hair doesn't really grow back there anymore. So then it's just sort of scarred and be chilling. Can I talk about how obsessed I am with the black accents I've added to this? What do you mean it's not cool? People shave their eyebrows to look at that. Yeah, that's true. I work with a guy who's negative 1175. What? My best friend has a scar just like that from getting punched at a bar. I don't even know. Natmere, good night. Have a have a good night. Fun stream. Thank you. I'm glad you had fun. I actually did things today. No, 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 no. This is not happening. How did these float up? What? No, 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 no. Absolutely fucking lutely not today.
I just learned a valuable lesson. The valuable lesson was glue the keycap bases down. So the keycaps, what, what happened just now is the keycaps, I looked at them and they were floating because keycaps have a concave area in the bottom. So if you put them like this and then submerge them in liquid, the pressure of the air in here is probably higher than the pressure of the liquid, which means it rises. And I didn't think about that. And I didn't put any sticky tack down to like glue them to the base. I just put them into the base and they rose up. So I don't know what's going to happen with these now. I pushed them back down and now they should be fine. But like, I don't know what the mold's going to look like. It'll probably be fine and I can just rip it off, but it's going to be maybe a little bit weird. So I don't know, but I'm going to see and it will probably be fine and it will look cool. So yeah. Also, I have like shit all over this desk. <clears throat> I'm really happy with how uh, this desk tray has let me use this desk for like actual stuff and it makes streaming things like streaming art a lot easier because now I don't have to like turn and be on that desk. So that desk is for just my art stuff instead of stream art. Super glue it down, same with toothpicks and sprues. Yeah, I should have I should have used like a little bit of, of blue tack for it probably. That would have literally been all I needed. Where is chat? Do you have two chats? I have chat here and I have chat there. I have two chats. Eh, it's special. I'm quirky. That's right. Get you a person who has two chats. I don't even know how this works. I just bent my fingernail. How does this even... I don't know how this works, but I'm pretty sure I trapped this in... in I'm pretty sure I trapped this. So we're gonna have to break him out. We're breaking him out of prison. We're breaking him out. Left chat is superior chat. Honestly, it I love chat, so all chat superior chat. I don't know how the fuck to get this out. Do I just like cut this? I'm a sexy little Minecraft chicken. Thank you, X Photo YYC for the sub. Okay, I'm just gonna like do this. I'm doing a little one of these. Nailed it. Okay. Can I get this out now? Will you kindly fuck off? Good sir. Would you kindly eat shit? I did it. Okay, we're good. We're all good. I got it out now. This is the thing that makes like the base for your things. So when you pour, when you pour the silicone into this, into this, this is what you get out of it. Which, in my brain, makes absolutely no sense. I understand it makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. It makes sense, but it doesn't, okay? This is the piece I needed. This is garbage. This is all trash. This is shit. Savage with the skizzers. Savage with the skizzers, guys. All trash, all the time. All shit, all the time, all trash, every day. I am pretty savage, it's true. Did you guys ever listen to the song Edamame by Baby No Money? Cause I did the other day and I gotta say, I love it. I love the, I love the, I love the, the beat. The worst part of your streams is that you always have coffee and I don't. <laughs> I was like, how is this gonna end? Cause this sounds mean. Also Noah, I, I'm gonna message you something.
That wasn't me. Oh no, I'm running up for Red Bulls and zero hours of sleep. Pop off, King. There's like a booger up in my brain. My guy, you might have a heart attack. Suffering attack. I watched the Space Jam movie the other week, and honestly, <gasps> guys, if you haven't seen Free Guy, you need to see that movie. It is so fucking good. It is everything every movie wishes they could be. Every time a movie tries to make, there is something pokey in my ass. I'm trying to fish it out. I'm so sorry, guys. There. What the fuck? There's like a splinter going through my pants into my butt cheek. Anyways. It is actually such a good movie. Like, I went and I watched the movie. And throughout the entire movie, there are lots of jokes that are like, they're like stupid jokes. But the way they're delivered and the acting that goes into them and just like how it's edited makes them all not cringy. Like, they would have been cringy jokes if the actors were different and the editing was different. But everything comes together to make it a movie that's actually... Yeah, and it's it's like 99% the fact that Ryan Reynolds has perfect delivery and perfect acting for everything and the characters are so good and it's like a bunch of movie stereotypes sort of about like gaming movies and action movies and like Ready Player One and stuff and it's so good. And I love it. I love it so much. I love Ryan Reynolds. Anyways. <clears throat> I have like tonsil stones still. Oh, also look what someone sent me. I didn't buy this. This wasn't my own purchase. It's called a Pickapalooza. And it is... A hole punch for guitar picks. Like, that's kind of cool. I do play the guitar. And also, I got a new one. It's being shipped to me, though. And it's a smaller one because what I found is the main, the main reason I don't try to even play my guitar is I haven't trained my hands to like be able to bend and like hold the guitar. And I have small, I have small hands. I'm a girl and I'm pretty sure I have kind of small hands even for a female. So suit picks on Etsy when <laughs> maybe, maybe one day. And so I just don't because it's so impossible for me to do anything and to play chords when it requires like when they're far apart and I just can't. So I figured if I start with a smaller guitar, maybe then I can work my way up to the big guitar or maybe, maybe I just have to accept that I have small hands and I have to use a small guitar. And that's not like a problem, but it's a little annoying, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Um... I don't want to play a ukulele. However, I do want to open something that I bought the other day. And Noah, I know you said, can I be mean for a second? And then told me to stop making content just about what I purchased. But I did not purchase this today. I purchased it a while ago. And by a while ago, I mean I purchased it yesterday. And because of that, I think I legally am allowed to open it right now. Okay? Okay, cool. It's a Playmobil set. But it's birds? And I'm very excited about it. Okay, I have shit on it, but it's fine. Oh, it requires cutting. I simply am here for the birds. Okay, cool. So this is empty now. And now we just we plug this bad boy in. And then we have... Oh my gosh, it's a little Playmobil thing. And it shows all these like different Playmobil things. Oh my god. Oh... It's a Playmobil advent calendar. That reminds me of my childhood. <gasps> and a farmhouse! Oh, I remember farmhouses. Aw. 
I I love Playmobil. Play the small hands, you must improvise, adapt, and overcome. Yeah, pretty much. So I'm like, okay, maybe that just means I should actually just buy a smaller guitar and suck it up and realize that, yeah, I just need a smaller guitar. You know? You know? What does this look like? Okay, so this is supposed to be like that, and then this goes on here. I used to chew the shit out of these flowers, is all I'm gonna say. And then all the birds go on this. And so then you put the birds on it, and the birds are like... This. And then, look, look at my little bird tree. Bird tree, it's a bird tree. I do have a PO box, it is down below. Do I have a command for it? I do, there's the command. If you put your hands in hot liquid, their size will increase due to thermal expansion. That's kind of weird. Bird tree. It's a tree, but it's filled with birds. I'm gonna put it in my house. Bird tree. It's a tree with birds. Bird tree. It's a tree with birds. More excited about the included ad than the product. Honestly, this ad is great. I love looking at things I don't own and then looking at them. Fire trucks, police stations, uh, airports, hockey rinks, cars, sports, castles, vacation pirates, the e Egyptians, Pirate ships, XXL, Playmobil, Advent calendars, countries, safari camping, a yacht, a hospital. The hospital is kind of cool though. I kind of just want the hospital to be honest. Vacation parks you did. A school. And then this dollhouse, which I actually want to buy, but I don't, because on the one hand, I want to buy it because it's it's kind of sick. Like, look how sick it is. But on the other hand, it's ugly colors. I'd have to repaint it. And this one is just, like, designed more interestingly. And I don't know. Also, when is this copyrighted? Oh my gosh, it literally shows when these things get released. Wait. Where's the symbol? The back has like a legend that has symbols and they say if it's a star, it's getting released in the first half year of 2017. So these are from 2017. So that's from 2017, I guess. I love toy traders. Is that like pirates and Hawaiian shirts on a cruise? One second, let me look it up. Let me look, let me go back and look it up. When did I say it? Did I say it before or after? It's probably here. There's some more pirates. No. 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 It was after the country house. It was like in here somewhere. Where was it? Oh, well, now I've lost it completely. I've lost it. Oh, this smells like... This smells like the Scholastic Book Fair. Oh, books. I, I don't know where the pirates went. I, if anyone, if anyone has Playmobil set 3200, I will buy it off of you for $200. But only if you have the expansion to it as well. Look, it's, it's pirates, but they're in a little vacation hut. Vacation pirates. It's like a scratch and sniff book. Oh, but it smells like dirt. Oh, okay. Anyways, now that I've gotten over that, I'm going to check if the Tim Hortons is here yet. And if it isn't, I'm going to scream.
Okay, so it isn't. So I have a feeling they either delivered it to the front of the delivered it to the front of the house or to the wrong house. So what I'm gonna do, chat, is I'm gonna be a pog champ. How do I track? Is there even a way to track this? Check your email for more things. Okay. I will be back. I'm gonna go find this treat. I'm gonna find it, guys. Don't do anything too crazy while I'm gone, okay? Okay. I'm gonna also bring my phone in case I get kidnapped. Hey everyone, it's Cheryl the Sentient Chair. Now that we're alone, I'd like to tell you about the Church Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints. Hi guys, it's me. Look what I found. That's right. I found the Tim Hortons for your new church. I have a church. The Church of Soup. Oh, it's a mil it's um the Monthly subscription for my religion is simply vibes. What would Jesus say? What would Jesus- wait, did you guys start a religion while I was gone? Oh. Never mind, I figured out what happened. I used logic and funny. So here's what you ordered. A donut. Some free Timbits. this ice cap and soup that's right soup an ice cap soup with a bun ah oh. I don't want to eat the bun right now but I want to eat some of this here soup I don't know how mobile, but we need to add a quote. Did you guys start religion while I was gone? I don't know how to on desktop, so good luck. Hey Siri. Pff, 
Wait, you can just add quote? I want to add a quote. Um, pee pee poo poo is what I'm saying. What? That was a thing this whole time? Oh my god! Oh my god! So I don't- I have to do it on foot. Pee pee poo poo. Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Give me quotes, yes! Oh gosh, oh gosh. I have to blow my nose. <laughs> I love honking my nose. You could literally build that for cheaper. What is this? Anyways. Yuck. I'm a little bit of a saltine. <laughs> that is me. This is my soup and it's... Hey guys, let me take a fat fucking rip. Ugh. Timber Willy, I'm so sorry. Welcome back, Sunday Foggy Notions. Thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh my god, you're so welcome. I love it here. Okay, look at this sponge thing I got. You put- you wet it, and then it's a wet sponge. Why did I feel the need to share that? No one knows. Italian wedding. This is not Italian wedding. This is chicken noodle fucking soup. Fake fan. Fake fucking fan. I was just telling my mom how I will eat almost any soup. Were you also telling your mom that you're a bad boy? You're a bad boy, you don't follow the rules. I have a booger in my nose, don't look at me. Thank you. Uh, it's itchy. Uh. Bad boy, were you also telling your mom how much fun I had with her last night? We got together and we drank champagne. Then I smashed. Anyways, I really hope you don't have audio on because that would be awkward. And if you did, uh, I would be like, why? Pick me a winner, lol. I don't talk like that about my mom. No, I don't care. <gasps> oh, wait, they have... It literally says they have no products listed for this section, but they show products, so I'm a little bit confused. Oh, yeah, the house I wanted was different. I'm so sad. They don't actually, like, store information. Displays, specials, trade information. Toy Traders has a unique concept in which you can trade in your new and used items for an in-store credit. With the in-store credit, you can purchase new or used products. Trading items are checked over carefully to ensure safety and that are thoroughly clean. These items have a 30-day warranty with receipt. Aren't they brought to be, be brought to the trade center? Located to the right of the main entrance, there's no appointment necessary and the average trade's completion time is 5 to 30 minutes. Okay. Huh. They don't take Bakugans. They do not accept items with magnetic accessories. My scene brats, Hannah Montana, Britney Spears, and High School Musical Dolls, Baby Dolls, Fabric Baby Dolls, and Barbies that are undressed. Okay. 
Well, they have so many things they don't accept. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Well, anyways, so there's a store called Toy Traders. Illicit liquid recently. Uh, I actually did. I had iodine. <laughs> no shirts, no shoes, no service. Am I right, boys? That's exactly right, Noah. I just want to know because that means when I have toys like this where the Playmobil sets come with dolls that I don't actually want... I can just bring them in. I don't have to throw them out. I can bring them in. So, that's pretty cool. I want to become friends with the Toy Traders people. So that when I start... Sealed set 3200 3, on eBay for 350 Yeah, see, that's like too much. I, that's a little too much for me. Because I'm fine with it being used for much cheaper. You know? I should do a series where I literally just look up things and I figure out how expensive it is to get them. And then I buy them all because I want to. Uh, you know? I have an EMP Santa too. Jerry's. Eat my pussy and die. Yo. Yo, thanks for the sub. Use one for 125. See, but the used one that's on sale that's up for 125 right now is um it it doesn't have all the pieces, I think. Cause the what did they say? I'm gonna look it up. Playmobil. I literally don't know how to type. Playmobil 3200. It is Super Grocery Store. Oh, new open. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Did this literally just get posted? Did this just get posted? The most expensive, the most valuable thing in my room is my graphics card. <laughs> um, all I'm saying is that I am this close to buying this Playmobil set. This close. I'm a sexy little Minecraft chicken. I am too. Thanks for, thanks for the sub. That's a creed of one. Playmobil is still around and it is thriving. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're going on about. Wait, what is this? Playmobil large store grocery store. Wait. How much? Wait, what is this one? And this one's forty nine ninety nine. I really want it. Party one, 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 party one. Oh, or I could get nearly completed. Well, what the fuck is nearly? Oh, it doesn't have the checkout. I don't give a fuck with that. Okay, guys, do I spend? $220 on a Playmobil set. I'm seeing a lot of yeses in chat. I'm seeing a lot of yeses in chat. I'm seeing a lot of yeses in chat. A lot of them. A lot of yeses. I'm seeing a lot of yeses in chat. I don't speak English. No means yes, right? 
I'm seeing, I'm seeing it. See, there's a yes. That one says there's not yeses, but that's a yes. See, there's another yes. Current poll is just question marks. I'm voting yes. I'm voting yes. Guys, vote yes because then Noah will regret the fact that he put this poll up for the rest of his life. Will regret it for the rest of the life. Rest of his life. He'll be like, why did I do that? As he should because I'm about to get this. I didn't the poll. Who did the poll? Well, what were you thinking? Yeah, Noah. Fenor will regret this poll for the rest of his life. The rest of his life, he'll be like, why did I put that poll up? Why did I do that? Not 100% complete. Well, show me more pictures of it. You fucker. children's hospital one okay wait a minute guys i don't even have to spend two hundred dollars on this i don't even have to spend two hundred dollars putting in the work when i'm in ohio yeah fnord has been doing amazing i don't know what you're talking about uh bad financial decision decisions is my best stream category Guys, it looks like yes is still winning. And that does in fact mean that I am gonna bust. Come bust. I did find a Playmobil I did find a Playmobil set. That is the set I wanted. Um, for forty nine ninety nine. I know what you're thinking. Wow, that that's amazing. I am also gonna add this to cart. Oh my god! Wait a minute. I think I just got everything I wanted for way cheaper. <gasps> no way. There's no way. I just found everything I wanted for so much cheaper. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Show me all of your Playmobil items right now, sir. Right now. I don't give a fuck about that. Show me your Playmobil! Show me your Playmobil! person has a bunch of Playmobil stuff listed and I am here for it specifically because um if I can find another one of the walls if they have another one of the walls listed oh my goodness okay wait let me just quickly that's in my cart no one better snipe me on this got it you better not fucking snipe me on this you guys Uh, I don't care about this anymore. I don't care about that anymore. I don't care about this anymore. Go to checkout. Go to checkout. Okay, okay, okay. Shh, shh, guys. I can't show you because... Please review your items. Oh, no. <gasps> Noah? Noah, I have a favor to ask. Um, the seller who's selling the Playmobil uh, supermarket that I want for $200 cheaper than anywhere else only ships to the United States. Can I... Can I ship it to you? Please? 
Please, you're gonna visit me eventually and you can just put it in your carry-on. I will pay for you to have an extra suitcase. Please, I need it. I'm doing it, I know your address. How big is it? Oh, it like breaks down to like a, like probably a box that's like not even that big. I love it here. I love it. I love it here. Every day I'm winning. No, it isn't. I actually promise you this is not... I'm not lying because I would actually want you to say no if you wanted to say no. But also don't say no because I'll fucking beat you up. Ugh, my order's in. Cool. Now I just have to pay only this seller. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay, go to my cart. Go to my cart. Okay, I'm going to checkout. I'm updating my shipping address. I'm updating my shipping address. Hey, Noah, what... Your first name is Noah. Your last name is Bitch. That's not true. Uh... Noah, can you? It's not the size of a whole suitcase. Promise, it's not the size of a whole suitcase. It's not even half a suit. Okay, you know how that thing was in a really big box? The thing I'm getting is half the size of that and also literally square panels. Can you please dox yourself? Thanks. Anyways. It's fine. I'll just ship it to my mom. Okay, Noah? SMH. Well, guys, it looks like I'm gonna have to ship it to my mom. But that's okay. Because... Uh, it's either ship it to my mom or pay $250 to get it. So... Poggy Woggy Poogoo Woogoo is uh, what the kids say, I believe. Your address is too short. Give Noah something in return. I said I pay him. He said no. Get a re- Wait, what a how do you even get a reship address? Because I have a feeling that's something I would actually need in the future. You know? feel like I would use that. I would use it. I would actually use a re a reship address. Also, this person has like a bunch of these little pieces. Universal healthcare, but you have to pay up the ass for Playmobil. What a fucking rip off! That's what I'm saying! They know, they know. They're like, see, we're gonna give them the healthcare, but then we're gonna charge them a million dollars for Lego. I'm sorry, Playmobil. That's right. A million dollars for Playmobil. I wonder. I need to go to a Playmobil store. 
What keyboard do you use? Sounds pretty thock. That is the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. It is literally a Logitech keyboard I've done nothing to. At all. Lego is not better than Playmobil. You're on fucking crack cocaine. Basic. Yeah, it is basic. You most certainly do not need to go to the Playmobil store. I do. Because, uh, I do. Anyways. So, um... Now I have to ask my mom if I can ship this to her. But I don't want to. So I'm just going to do it and then be like, oopsie, I, I, I quicked a wrong address. Whoopsie doopsie. Whoopsie doopsie poopsie. And then I'll just have to give her money to ship it to me. Which is the easiest solution, honestly. considering my husband doesn't want it to get shipped to him so he can just bring it to me when he visits. But no, we have to ship it to my mother. <laughs> do you not answer Twitter DMs? Um, sometimes I do, but also I usually don't even, I don't even know about, I don't know anything about mechanical keyboards. I own one. That's my knowledge, pretty much. So, like, if you really, really need info about a thing, probably use Google, because I don't fucking know. I'm going to get an MMA play, play, uh, playable, playable, play, Lego fi figure thing. Yep. That's totally what I meant. 100% what I meant. Lego City. What if I told you that in Lego City, you could be anything you want to be? Lego City. That's right. I'm here to tell you Lego City. A man has fallen into the river at Lego City. I feel like what people are doing on... I feel like what people are doing on um, eBay is they're taking the Playmobil sets and they're breaking them up into just the pieces and then selling those because they can technically make more money that way than they could just selling a whole set together, which is... kind of wacky, honestly. You have a Playmobil A-Team set? What? A leg O city. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I didn't pronounce it correctly. Please. Please forgive me for the terrible crime I have committed. <gasps> That's the pig pen set I used to have. Aw. I love this. I'm just seeing so many toys I used to have as a child. And I'm like, I remember playing with that and being like, I'm a farmer. Yeehaw, cowboy. Uptime. I've been live for two hours. Oh my god. I feel like today's stream was significantly better than yesterday's stream. And if you're like, why, why do you, why do you feel like that? Cause it was. And, uh, that's just the truth. You know? You know? You ever, you ever know that something is the truth and you're like, that, that's the, that's just the truth. It's just the truth. You just look at them. Wait, what? Look like them. I look like what? Were you the one on line stacks? It was probably at you. 
You just oh yeah no I don't know who Linus Tech Tips is so I'm assuming it wasn't me. I'm kidding. That was a, that was a joke. Uh, it was me. I fucking debated you so hard just now. Get debated. Playmobil figures are kind of ugly. Not gonna lie. The houses aren't, but the actual figures are. But also they're like chunky. So they're kind of epic. They have the country kitchen furniture set. Oh my god. Oh my god. Does anyone here collect Playmobil? Does anyone here collect uh, Lego? I feel like Lego is probably way more expensive. I'm chunky. You know, there's nothing wrong with being chunky. Unless it's affecting your actual health, then we have a request to show off Blanche. Wait, who asked for Blanche? You want to see Blanche? Don't go over my butt. This is Blanche. Blanche is a puff pal. Uh, there are... Pardon me. There is a puff pal coming out soon. Named... It's a toucan. And currently, it, I can't purchase it because it's only for the United States. It was pre-orders for the United States only. And... I didn't make Noah, I didn't make, I didn't make Noah let me ship that to him because I went, no, I don't really want that. I want it, but I don't. So I'm not going to do that because I'm considerate. Anyways, <laughs> I love Blanche. Blanche is very cute. Blanche was a Kickstarter. Blanche was like the first Kickstarter I think I ever gave money to. He's so chunky. I love him. You can get mini blanches too and keychain blanches. And um, you can get so many different animals. And you can get like a little fox and you can get a little mini cow and a little mini frog. Oh my goodness. The frog is cute. Why are frogs a trend now? Like everything is frogs. And now there's also a frog con. Like a convention for frogs? I'm not complaining, I'm just confused. You know? Now I'm not complaining, I'm just a little bit confused about everything, you know? You know, I'm just... I'm just a little confused. You know? How do I even, how do you navigate? Okay, I found it. How do you navigate? Straight up navigating. At least for me, the new Naruto wave brought back frogs. Wait, what? Naruto? Nagubo? Narubo? Blanche have a camera just from honestly that would be kind of cute. But also I feel like people would be like, why is there just a picture of a because he doesn't move. So they'd be like, why is there just a picture of a bird on your on your thing? And I'd be like, What do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? It's not just a picture. It's the bird. What do you mean? <laughs> what type of house plants do you have? I have no real plants. They're all fake. So I am, I'm a fake fan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know it's probably heartbreaking, but it's the truth. I'm still looking at this set and I'm trying to see if there's even remotely one that is close to Even remotely close to being the same price as the $60 one I found. And there isn't, which is depressing. But it's fine because Playmobil is cool. Real ones produce oxygen. Real ones, real. <laughs> you a real one. You know that? You a real one. Shipping not specified. I love it when shipping is not specified. I love when shipping isn't specified. Oh, 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 o
know you care. The shock whenever. And I'll be there. You are my love. You should put Blanche in a rotary platform. <gasps> that would be really cute, actually. I should buy one of those motorized lazy Susans and just have it and put Blanche on it and be like, that's just my little chicken boy doing chicken things. You like him? Cool. Me too. I'm coming up, so you better get this party started. I have a fidget spinner keycap too. They're pretty fun. They actually spin really well. I know what you're thinking. What does that even mean? What do you mean they actually spin really well? They actually spin really well. Like I was surprised with how well those bitches spun. Which do you like more, Blanche or chicken roll? Blanche. That sounded really mean. But here's my logic, here's my reasoning, and I, I would like to, I would like to clarify the reasoning behind the feelings I have. Um, I feel like this has one shelf in it, and that's kind of sad. Wait, no. I don't even know. I don't even know. The shipping for this is $60. If I don't get... Oh, my God. I can't believe it. That's a bummer. Oh, well. I love import fees. And shipping fees. Goddess, thank... Th Mike Maddie. Could you stop calling me goddess? It makes me a little uncomfortable. I just I just feel like I should let you know that. Is she eating soup and drinking iced coffee this morning? Absolutely I am. Do you know that that combination is actually really good? It's like top tier. Cuz you get the you get hot soup, cold coffee and you're like, "Hmm. Ah, uh, you know? Shipping fees suck." Is that combo based? Yeah, it's based as f fuck. Oh, sorry. It's okay, Mike Maddie. Thank you for apologizing. I never said anything, so. It's a silicone tip so I don't chip my tooth on the metal straw. That's it. Uh. I'm coming up so you better get this party started okay but here's my here's the next thing I have to think about is it worth getting the old grocery store that I want which it's old and that's sort of the reason why it's like expensive or should I get for the same price the modern luxury mansion and modern designer kitchen. You know? That wasn't a tiny swig, I drank a bunch of water. Don't be rude. I love drinking water, it is my favorite. I love water. Bruh. I feel like I should get the Playmobil set still. Cause it's just cooler. Yes, early when I was jelly up, your confidence. Thank you. Sip, 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 sip. I, <laughs> here's the annoying thing. It's like, oh, okay, this one's cheaper than this other one. But then it's like, oh, but it's shipping is more expensive making it the same amount of money. What? 
What even? What even is what I'm asking? Mm, do they, sh okay. Do these people ship to Canada? <gasps> they do. They do ship to Canada. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, why? Okay, I have to do a little bit of logic. Text mom. What do you want to say? If I order a Playmobil set off of eBay that will only ship to the United States and it arrives, will you either keep it until you come visit me again or send it to me if I pay you for shipping? Here's your message. Send. Okay, it's sent. Text mom. What do you want to say? The reason I ask is it's $150 cheaper than every other version of the set, but the seller will only ship to the United States. Okay, it's sent. My Siri's British because that's her fucking ethnicity. He's British. British is not an ethnicity. I, this is like the time I said Egypt wasn't in Africa. Just made me look stupid. My mom is gonna be like, why the fuck are you buying a Playmobil set? And I'll be like, mom, I told you earlier, I like Playmobil. My mom isn't gonna respond to me quickly. I texted her today. I'm so sad I didn't bring the Playmobil when we moved. I bought a house to display my miniatures in. My mom responded with, unfortunately, there are always regrets, but you did fix it somewhat. Was it expensive? They used to be very expensive before Toys R Us carried them. Sometimes some things ebb and flow. Maybe in another couple years, you may again think, why do I want or like all these miniatures and purge your collection? Life has all kinds of twists and turns. Enjoy what you have while you have it. I'm, it sounds like I'm gonna die. Like next, it sounds like I'm gonna die. That's what this sounds like. The fuck is a Playmobil? Why am I paying a thousand dollars to be timed out? Oh, a thousand, I don't know. Your mom casually throwing shade saying one day I'll grow up. No, literally, that's quite literally what she did. And that made me mad. I was like, wow, okay, savage. You really savage. Savage! So savage! <laughs> I was like, wow. I'm not talking smack. I'm simply calling her a savage. Because she did essentially go, maybe one day you'll eventually stop liking miniatures. Smack talker. Okay, Skeffy. Okay, Skeffy. Says the guy who wouldn't let me ship a Playmobil set to him. Okay, Skeffy. Your mom actually asked me to stop sending six foot toys to her. It's not six feet. This is literally something that would fit into a tiny box. Mm hmm. No, you're gonna get banned from chat. I'm gonna ban you from chat. Okay, never mind. We got someone, we got another person who is willing to let me send them this Playmobil set. Uh. Never mind, one of my friends said they would help.
get snatched. Oh no, are you making this Colin? No, 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 I'm not even, it wasn't Conlon. Vindy, Vindy has, Vindy has very kindly uh, said uh, uh, this emoji. Okay, but you can send it to me if you are desperate. And I said, oh my God, please. So, you know. That's just what I'm doing. That's just what I'm doing. Curse. Vindy. Skeffy. Literally, my cosplay friend who I met at a convention. And they were in such a really cool cosplay. And I was like, what even? And they looked awesome. And I was very jealous of how good their cosplay was. Even though they literally worked really hard on it. And I was there like, I rushed through mine. And it was not great. <laughs> we had great fun. Yeah, see? And Vindy's even a first a founder? Come on, Noah. I'm sure those sets can't get through a door. They can. Okay. Wait a minute. I just about bought the wrong set, so like let's let's not let's not do that. Let's not make that mistake actually right now. Let's just not. You know? Okay, I'm gonna I'm I'm pay only this seller. Change. Just about bought the wrong Playmobil set. It would have been really awkward, but it's okay because I figured it out. And that's all that matters. <laughs> pay with PayPal. I'd love to pay with PayPal. Thank you so much. Let me pay with PayPal. Pay with PayPal. Pay PayPal. Pay PayPal. Pay 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 Bam. Pay now. Proxy1001, have a good sleep. Guess what, guys? Your order's in. It's ordered. And you know what that means? It means that one day I will truly have the Playmobil uh, grocery store. And that that's really all that matters. It's really all that matters. So... Can we all can we all say thank you, Vindy? Thank you for being essentially a drop shipper for Madison. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. You know? You know? Yeah, it's like at 9.30, you know, it's like 9.30, pretty, pretty sick, if you know what I'm saying. Where's the Playmobil store? I want to know. Appendix? Wait, what? Oh. No, I didn't. I didn't find out about my appendix, but it's okay. I will live. Um...
I'll live. It'll be fine. I realize the issue right now is I look at this and I, I, my address is apparently listed as America for some reason. So it keeps showing me all these things that Americans can buy. And I'm like, wow, that would be really cool if I lived in fucking America. Bruh, I don't live in America. So like, let's not do that. How about, how about that? How about them apples? Do, 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 do. My desk is now covered in shit. Oh, I love donuts. Look at all these little Timbits. Oh. They gave me the good one. They gave me that good Timbit. When he gives you a Timbit. America. Exactly. So, I'm gonna put away things, because, isn't Canada North America, what the hell? Yeah, what? It is, but that's not, <laughs> that's not America, America, it's, n that's North, silly, that's North America, it's different, we're not the same, I'm not like other girls, I'm from Can. oh no, I just fucked up my mold. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. I got my finger stuck in it and it. Oh fuck. I think I just fucked up my mold! It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Everything's okay. Everything's. Every, everything's okay, guys. Don't worry about it. It's totally not wrecked at all. I didn't just. Wreck it. It's fine. Everything's fine. Every day I'm shuffling. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Heroic Bear, thank you for the bits! Look at this hot wheel I got. I want to spray paint it black. I guess it didn't like that idea. Heart emoji. You know what they say? Heart emoji. I have so much shit on my desk. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Remind me to do that thing for online tomorrow. Just a sec. Okay, your reminder is set for tomorrow. Hey Siri, remind me to figure out a healthcare thing. All right, I've added it to a- Thanks Siri, thanks for the reminders. Now I'm gonna remember things. Shipping to Canada is too hard. They have to deliver the package by horseback or polar bear or something. Yeah, that's probably why. Because you know, shipping here, it's just like, sometimes you just don't have the infrastructure. Cause like you, you need it, you need, a, you need a moose. You literally need to own a moose in order to ship to Canada. So, sometimes the postal service just can't. They're like, we don't, we don't have any mooses. We don't have any meese. So, that's an issue. I found out that this chicken is like $60 online if you want to buy it. And I gotta be honest, that did, that did make me feel valid. I was like, wow, you were a good investment. Because if I had bought you anywhere else, you would have been a billion dollars. A billion dollars. Delivery via goose. Yes. But see, that would be kind of epic, though. That would be kind of epic, though. Not gonna lie, that would be kind of epic, though. You know? I'm just trying to put things back together. I... Hey, guys. Did any of you know how to make YouTube videos? 
Asking for a friend. The friend is me, and I don't know how to make content. You see a problem with me? I see you let that one marinate. Okay. Wait. I can't tell if I'm thinking about what you're saying correctly or if I'm stupid and over analyzing everything. Anyways. Now let that one marinate. If you make something shitty for a revision on purpose, you can fix it later. It helps with the cognitive dissonance of wanting to make it perfect YouTube video. Sure, YouTube videos that get over 20 views. Nah, fam. It's from Letterkenny. You would watch... Noah, you'll watch Letterkenny, but you won't visit me faster. Fuck you. Um, oh, by the way, guys, uh, Chase is here. That was the announcement I was going to make. I just wanted to let everyone know. Uh, next week... Starting the 30th, I won't, to the Friday, wait, the 30th to, give me a second, give me a second. The 30th to at least like Sunday, so like the 4th or 5th, I won't be streaming, I'll be in Calgary, I might be posting some sick Instagram and TikToks though, so like, I don't know, probably follow me on Instagram, and eh, I don't have a tag for Instagram. I don't know why I don't have a tag for in individual socials, but I don't apparently. So that's a thing. And then, um, besides that, I don't have any other announcements. So you got time from work. I did, in fact, but it was because it counts as grievance time. Meh. Anyways, so I got to go to Calgary, and I'm going to be there, and then I'm going to do some things, activities. I don't know. Where's the Playmobil store? Here. Where's the Playmobil store in Canada, in Calgary? Is there a Playmobil store? Playmobil. Show me the Playmobil store right now. It's 21 miles away. Oh my god. Okay. 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 I'm catching the vibe. It's 21 miles away. What's at it? Is it just Playmobil? They have hex bugs? Bruh. This is a whole ass store. Oh my god, this is literally like one of those Playmobil stores. Except this isn't literally, there's like no Playmobil here. I see actually zero Playmobil sets in the Playmobil store. I see some Calico Critters and that's about it. Uh, Calgary's my hometown, such a fun town. I know my Kindle's so everything goes smoothly. Thank you, hopefully well. How far is that in kilometers? Asking for a friend. Um... How far away is Calgary? Calgary is about 646 miles away by car. How many kilometers is 646 miles? 1,039.64 kilometers. I'm so excited to drive back to Vancouver. So excited to drive back to Vancouver. Very hype about that. Gross. Maybe I'll get some sick, cool miniatures on the way. Like some little tiny rocks I just spat on myself. Like a, like a gentleman, a gentle lady. I left my fucking tacos in the work fridge. I'm mad. I'm mad about it. I'll die mad about it. I'm furious. I left my fucking taco in the work fridge. 
talk O's. Okay, guys, here's the issue that I'm facing right now. I'm gonna show you my screen. Give me a second. I'm figuring out how to do it, okay? Uh, that's not even the right display. Bruh. 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 Why is display three my middle monitor? So if we look, okay, well, what is going on here? Okay, well, it's, okay, it's, it's, got it, it's behind me. Let's shrink it down and let's bring it up, okay? Bring it up. Bring it up. There we go. Look at all of this Playmobil. Look at it. Look. A floor extension for the deluxe dollhouse? Everyone wants that. A, a literal entire floor for this. So you can get... You can get a whole this dollhouse. Wow. First off, look at it. It's pretty nice. It has some, like, cool fencing and stuff. Pretty sick. You can just buy, like, additional floors that you can keep stacking. You can just keep stacking these on there. So you can just build this up as much as you want. That's so cool! And then they also have this mansion one, which is also sick. Look at this one. It's this. It looks so cool. It looks so cool. And it has a doorbell. And it has a secret safe hidden behind a thing. And you can buy an extension and another extension. But here's the thing that sucks. The fucking extensions are out of stock. I want this kitchen set, but this is kind of ugly and this is cool, but then like the rest of it's like kind of whatever. But the fact that, the, like, I'm pretty sure a set like this used to be so much more money than $22. Wait, this is only $22. What's in my cart? Nothing. Nothing's in my cart. I don't know what you're talking about. Also, you can buy the fairy tale castle for two hundred dollars. This I got a castle like this for Christmas one year, and it was so much more than two hundred dollars probably, and it was probably also shittier. Like, look, this isn't Canadian. This is Canadian. Look at this castle. It has three levels of normal rhythm. Thank you for the sub. It has three levels. <sighs> Fairy tale castle. I'm a sexy little Minecraft chicken. I'm a sexy little Minecraft chicken. Look at it. It has 959 pieces. It's so epic. It's so epic. And you can buy a royal bed chamber. What? A what? A what? A what? A what? A royal bed chamber? Yes. Thank you. And you can buy a castle kitchen. Like, when I was younger, you would get, like, one of these sets for Christmas, and that was, like, the coolest thing ever. And now it's, like, you could get this for your birthday, probably. I don't know. I don't know. It's just wacky to me. Also, are there no stairs in this house? Oh, no, the stairs are here. I found it. You have to go... Wait, this is terrible design. You have to go outside of your house to go into your house. You have to, like, go up and out and, like, leave your house to go into your house. That's weird. That doesn't make sense. I want this set, though. He say, I want this set, but then I looked at it and I realized it stuck out a bunch back here, which is kind of annoying because that makes it impossible to put on a shelf. But look at this 360 view. Look at this house. I'm jealous of it. Um, 
I don't know what's a job. You can get all the things. I could buy the town, and you can use, so you can use them going to town. Oh, I could. So, what if I bought five of these and I put them right next to each other? It comes with a fucking fake security camera and, like, a light. What even? You can get your mail delivered. You can, you can be, you can chill out. Look, you can buy a pool. You can have a pool that tucks into there. Oh. That's what that hole is for. You can buy an additional pool. But that's like a separate set, I'm pretty sure. Right? I think it is. Yeah, you can buy a swimming pool with the terrace for like $21. And it tucks into your thing. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, guys. Not gonna lie, it's pretty fucking cool. Pretty fucking cool. From Leonard. Oh, fam Leonard. Wait, what? Who's this? Is this Leonard? No. What? Oh, it plays mail. It plays noise. They're having some drinks on the terrace. She's, oh, look at these kids. Uh, they are very clearly 22-year-old adults. And in case you were wondering. And this is sets, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is six sets, you know. As you do. That kid is literally naked. And you can literally, oh, the fact that you can just buy. I feel like this is a new design thing. Where you can just buy more for the same set. And just like keep stacking them. I wish I had this set as a child because I would have absolutely loved it. I would have played with it every day. Now I have this set as an adult. And I'm gonna play with it every day. I want the deluxe dolls. Look at this. Look at this deluxe dolls. And you can make it bigger, like no, just show me the finished product. Yeah. Look, you put the little things on it and you put the those things in. And you put those in and then you put the th pieces in. And you you put them together. And then you snap them in and it's like You can just keep building it up. Okay, Banana Boy, congrats on getting banned. Jesus Christ. Um, but that's pretty cool. Like, look, you can get all these. So you start with the tiny house, and then you build it up, and then you build it up a little more. Wait, but like, how? So you have that. So you start with one, two, three, four, five, and you add. One, two, three, and then you add one, and then you add one, two, and you start with five. Wait, what? This doesn't mean, this doesn't make that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is like more. I don't, I don't know. Rage since uh, MD XBI. Good night, sleep well. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Sim Tower, but like IRL. I, that'd be really cool. You can get a reusable shopping bag. Oh my God. <sighs> Hi, Sergeant Potatoes. Milady. I. And then you can also get these, which are cool. Wait, what? What is a create your own bundle? This is literally a Porsche Taycan. No, it's a Targa or whatever. What? They have so many Porsches. What is a create your own bundle?
This is just loading the same things over and over again. I don't know what that what the point of that is, but okay. I'm good. How are you, King Wing? See how many just This is the thing that I'm sad. They have a guest suite, which is pretty cool, but it's sold out. Probably because it's literally a Lego house, but it was $44. I have a reminder. Oh, what? Oh, well, this is sold out too, so never mind. Amazing. Amazing. I love it. I love when everything I ever wanted to purchase is sold out. It's my favorite. Um, anyways, so tomorrow I don't stream, but Friday I do stream. And you know what that means. It means I'm gonna stream. So... I'll see you guys Friday. Am I right? Or am I right? Uh, also, Playmobil's always been a thing. It, I don't know if it's popular. I just really like it. Okay? Okay. I'll see you Friday. I love you all. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.